and uh, this is Inspector Clues of others, uh, day on the uh, 11th of February, uh, yes, uh, the inspector's braving it here, it's minus 8, yes, it's minus 8, look at this fucking frost everywhere, Jesus Christ everywhere, look at that, the frost everywhere, but, but the inspector's fighting it, he's fighting the coronavirus, leading the way, one inspector leads the way to suppress the coronavirus, and here it is, here's proof everyone, minus bloody 8, yes, this is what's holding the virus back, it's not the people, the people have lost the plot as usual, you know, they're out absconding, you know, they're just taking the piss as usual, not all, but uh, when you've got uh, over three million people booking holidays, well, it's, uh, uh, piss taking, piss taking, piss piss, isn't it, everyone, yes, yes. So here we are, the inspectors in minus eight, here trying to save lives and to protect to protect the NHS, stay at home, keep it in your pants and save life. Yes, my nuts have, have completely gone numb. Yes, I've lost them. Yes, in minus eight, they've just crumpled up. Yes, I'm in severe trouble here. But as the inspector looks around, there's no bloody other fool brave enough to brave these elements and suppress the coronavirus. So here's the update. Yes, the inspector is bloody frozen here. I am frozen. Uh, you know, I'd be lucky if I can move any part of my body after this. But uh, here we are. And, uh, uh, sadly, sadly, this month's count is over 10,000 people have gone in February. Yes, we lost 1,100, no, 1,001 person, sadly, people the other day. Yes, and that's over 10,000 people already gone this month, possibly 11. Yes, the numbers are crippling. And if you count that up, yes, this is a massacre. If you take that over six weeks, we have lost about 46,000 people. This is due to the absconders. Yes, Mother Nature is fighting back with the inspector. Look at it. I'm froze, but I'm trying to fight. You know, one British bulldog stands saying, bollocks to the rugby, bollocks to that. A lot of men jumping all over, over taking the piss and spreading COVID. Now, that's a piss take. You know, as you can see, the inspector, there's one tough man left, yes, in the entire UK. Well, inspector, that is. I'm not condescending, but one man stands alone to fight against so many cases, and I'm here trying to defend you and tell you that Mother Nature has really got hold of my nuts, so yeah, they're frozen, but I'm still here fighting and kicking and screaming, but not screaming, I'm fighting, you know, yes, raise the fist, yes. So, uh, as you can see, look at it, look, look, there you are, see, the inspector doesn't lie, he never lies, it's my bloody minus eight. Yes, and uh, Mother Nature is really trying to rip back here. Uh, the cases are going down, but this is an example of uh, where the cases will continue to go down. But the problem is, you know, we've still got uh, 26,000 people in the hospital, yes, yes, which is still higher than the peak it was in April last year, you know. And over th about 3,000 people on ventilators. And it's days like this that stops people from... But not me. No, no the inspector is, is worthy to the cause. As you can see, I'm looking around, and there's no everybody fool enough to be out there. Only the inspector trying to save lives and protect the NHS against the absconders. Yes, the absconders, the dirty dogs, and the snowflakes. Now, these people are spreading COVID like buggy, but there's a problem. Up in Bristol, there's a new variant. Yes, there's a new variant due to the stupidity of people mixing and spreading COVID. And this is what it is. You have the Kemp virus, which is contagious. And then you've got the South African now. And that's been blended. Not a surprise it's up in Bristol. Not a bloody surprise when 20 people infected. And they're not sure about it. They're watching it. They're money. They're testing like Barry. Because again, this is due to the Dirty Dog Society and the Snowflake Society and... The absconders taking the piss and not staying at home and keeping it in your pants and save lives. Well, this is the expected with the facts, the whole truth, the old truth, and nothing but the truth. So have we got. See? See? Look at me. Look, 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 people. Watch this video. Stay at home and save lives. But most importantly, with Valentine's Day COVID, keep it in your pants. Yes, don't spread the juices because you can infect and spread COVID. And sadly, people can end up in hospital and we don't want that. We need to keep the juices. I don't mind orange juice, and I don't mind black currant, of course. Cup of tea, coffee, I don't drink it, I drink myself warm milk. Yes, warm milk is, is subtle, you know, you know. Cows, cows are lovely juices from the milk there, I fancy. You squeeze the udders, and this lovely fresh meat helps with the protein, you know. See, you don't need it to spread it and, and uh, exchange body fluids. Just have a glass of warm milk on Valentine's Day. Yes, this is the inspector's top tip. Warm milk on Valentine's No nicky nicky. No nicky nicky. Keep it in your pants and save lives. Life in there.